In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to change the colors of your images. Now, I know that not everyone is, uh, is absolutely perfect with putting pictures together. And sometimes I see different uh, pages has pictures that are put together that honestly just doesn't work together. I won't say that these are so unsuited, but uh, they're not great. So that in this example that you can have a look at here, um, I've used five images and all I've done is I've inserted um, just a screenshot of my intranet in the background so that I can kind of see how my Yero web part's going to look. And these are just loose images that I've packed in here to kind of plan the layout for my Yero web part and to also see if the images are going to look um, okay together. So something that I've uh, used before that helps me to um, put like really crazy images together and then it works and that uh, helps to build a theme is to actually take the images. So if I look at these different types of images. Some of these are photos and some of these are actually some art, right? So um, at the moment, I've just grouped these images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the format toolbar and you'll see that under pictures, you can actually change the colors of your images. So a lot of times I would completely restyle the images um, used together on a page and recolor them so that they actually work together better. Uh, another example would be is to maybe uh, make it blue. Now, using the screenshot of my site in the background also helps me to plan better before I go and upload all those images. So it definitely helps me um, put the correct colors together. So I might say that uh, that image is definitely not going to work. So I'm going to just quickly look for something else I think that can work better. So let's have a look at uh, maybe something brighter. Of course, my favorite banana man. So. Um, <clears throat> All I then do is in, uh, in PowerPoint, of course, while I'm doing my planning, is that I'll just uh, make it a bit smaller. And in this uh, image, I've actually put borders around it um, to simulate what, uh, what SharePoint does with the images. So I just put a little bit of a border around it. But now I can have a look and say, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's going to look easier. And I, and I promise you, it's much easier for me to plan uh, my images just right here in PowerPoint than it is to go and upload everything on SharePoint first and then to try and test out and see how those images work. So of course, the same uh, year applies. If I then look at this and I think, yeah, this is gonna get too bright or too crazy. So I can even color style it according to an image that's, or a color that's already used. So I can use the eyedropper and say, I wanna um, pick it so that it's uh, similar to that yellow color that's on my site. And see how that, uh, I'm not saying this is a perfect website, but see how that actually makes a difference and allows us to put uh, really crazy images together that doesn't always work together, but it allows you to also build a theme or a style for your site to actually help um, you do that. So um, definitely take a look at using the different color options um, when it comes to images that you're using in PowerPoint. Of course, uh, there's some pretty other cool um, image styles and color styles that you can use as well. And uh, I use gray quite often, I um, have to admit. So using gray, maybe a bit darker. So a lot of times I'll use the gray and even the more sepia tones um, on images that I use together because it really just uh, helps you find images that fits together. You don't have to go and search for images in that specific color. You can actually change your own colors on the images in PowerPoint. So I hope you enjoy messing around with the colors in, uh, in PowerPoint and then um, we'll, uh, we'll catch up soon.